Sup guys, Antonio Zilla here. Today we are reviewing the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Dual Attack Concavenator. I've actually never gotten a chance to go over the Dino Rivals packaging on the channel, so without further ado, here it is. So you've got the T-Rex squaring off the Triceratops with the Dino Rivals logo in the middle and Chris Pratt photobombing it for some reason. That's kind of strange, but um, anyways. Over here it says Dual Attack Concavenator and wait a minute. 4 plus? That means I'm too young for it. Towards the top of the box, there are two windows that explain uh, how the action feature works, and um, turning it to the side, you see the Dino Rivals logo, and then on the back, you've got the collector card with the stats, some other dinosaurs you can buy, and a nice graphic image of uh, the concavenator. Ugh, concavenator. Overall, the aesthetic of the boxing is cool. That's about it for the box, now let's take the figure out. So here it is, fresh out of the box, ready for review. So first impressions are definitely very good, I love the coloring. First of all, let's take a look at the um, collector card. So I know all this information, but it says concavenator, you've got this really nice art image of the concavenator, and then you've got strength, which is 7, you've got speed, which is at 7, and then intelligence at 6, and um, attack at 6, which is pretty cool. But I'm really digging that art. I like the background, that neon background, it's cool. By the way, the concavenator will snatch about $17 out of your pocket. Now let's take a look at the concavenator itself. First we'll start with the head. I really, really like this new sculpt. Well, it's actually, it's not really new, it's been out for a few months, I'm kind of late on this review, but I like the red print around the bright yellow eye. And then if you look inside the mouth, it's a kind of a flesh tone color and, um, if you look at the roof of the mouth, sadly it's not painted, but um, the membranes on the side of the jaw is painted, the same flesh tone color. And it has surprisingly clean teeth apart from one scratch. The neck was nicely done too, you can see all the osteoderms that lead all the way down to its very odd looking sail which reminds me of a bloody shark fin. Now let's take a look at the arms. These are really a step forward. I love how much extra detail they put in it with the scales and everything. I'm surprised they put so much work into this specific dinosaur. It's too bad the claws aren't painted though. That's unfortunate. Yeah. And then moving down, you can see where the rib cage would be, but you can't really see a rib cage. It's because it's not really sculpted in there. It's just kind of a lump that's just there, but yeah. Anyways, looking at the legs, I really like the muscle definition in the legs. It looks very realistic. And then moving down to the feet, they are really nicely scaled. They're not too big. And I also love all the scaling that's all over it so it looks extra realistic, like the arms. And I like how the claws have been painted. And they're also curved like a velociraptor. And then moving down to the tail, which is a little bit small, by the way. You've got some nice yellow striping, which kind of reminds me of the Indoraptor. And then towards the center, there's a purple stripe, which comes into play with the paint on the fin, I guess. And um, I really like the way they did the paint on the fin. It's kind of a purple undertone with some blood red, um, what do you call it, dry brushing on top of it. So far, this is the best example of painting for the Jurassic World figure so far. The overall color is kind of a navy blue with hints of turquoise in it, which is really cool because turquoise happens to be my favorite color. But sadly, the jaw kind of reminds me of Taco Bell Aftermath. I think we all know what that means. Even the underside of the foot has been carefully sculpted with the JP logo. It's kind of strange how they're webbed though. By the way, here's the QR code for the Jurassic Facts app if you like that type of stuff. The articulation isn't really that special. The jaw could open and close, but it can't stay because it comes into play with the action feature with the button. And then the arms can move out about this much, and then they can move 360 degrees. Same goes for the legs. They have that same outward, uh, outward pivot, and then they move 360. Then the tail kind of floats there, and it could go side to side, but it won't stay again because of the action feature. Speaking of that, let's see how it works. So there's a button, and when you press it, the jaw can open and close, which is pretty cool. It's kind of simple, but still cool simple and then if you press the fin down the tail will kind of wiggle I don't know I guess he's a happy guy I guess I don't know it's kind of strange for a quick size comparison here she is scaled up next to the Indominus Rex and I think we can all tell who has the bigger bite here 
So that wraps up the review of the- <laughs> That wraps up the review of the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Dual Attack Concavenator. Honestly, I think this is one of my favorite dinosaurs from the Jurassic World line so far. Just because of how detailed it is, and the action feature, and the paints, it's all really good in my opinion. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next Antonio Zilla video.